Hello, welcome back. My name is Kevin, also known as Stone Prophet. Today, my goal is to make sure that your Valheim server gets up and running with the mods that you want. Let's get started. So in our last video, we covered installing your mods that you choose through the Thunderstore Mod Manager or the R2 Mod Man Mod Manager, which is basically the same program, except it just doesn't include Overwolf. And today we're going to talk about taking those mods and putting them onto your new Valheim server that you've either just set up through G Portal or some other hosting service. I use G Portal. Uh, there's lots of them out there. Uh, they're all basically the same system. When we load it up, we're going to come to the profile selection screen. I've got a couple more here, obviously, than maybe you have, but you're going to click default or whatever you named yours. So we're just going to go ahead and select that. So here are our mods from our last video that we installed. So we want to take these mods and we want to put them onto our server. Now, how do we do that? Well, it's pretty simple. You're going to need another program and it's called an FTP program. And basically what that means, it's a program that takes files from one system and puts them on another remotely. It's very basic and it looks, usually the interfaces look exactly like your Windows Explorer. So when you're going through your files, you know, you're, you're opening up folders in your computer, we're going to be using a FTP program and we're going to be using the Thunderstore Mod Manager. Uh, together, it's going to be a really simple process to basically just drag over the files that hold the mods over into the server in the exact same spot that they are on your computer locally. If this doesn't sound confusing, great. But if it does sound confusing, just sit tight. It's going to get real easy, real fast. So here I've just Googled FTP program just to give you a sense of what you might find if you do that. Here I use FileZilla. Um, again, any of these programs are all basically the same thing. So once you download that and install it on your computer, you can go ahead and open it up and you might end up with something like this. So this is what FileZilla looks like when you first open it up. It looks a little bit intimidating, but it's really not. All you really care about are these things up here to start with. One's the host, the username, password and the port. All that information should have been provided to you when you sign up for your Valheim server hosting. Each server hosting site might be a little bit different in the way that it displays its information, its interface, but it, the information that you're looking for is exactly the same. I'm gonna show you what that looks like on my servers right now. All right, here we are at G Portal. I have these two servers here running. When I signed up for uh, these two servers, uh, it asked me what kind of, you know, how many slots I wanted in terms of how many players could join for how long I wanted it. And that's basically it. And once you do that, it presets all its information for you. Most of these other sites will do the same thing and then you're basically ready to go within two minutes. You can start interacting with your page. So I'm going to do that now just so you see what it looks like. Again, all my information is blurred out. So now we've got our username, password, host name and port. G Portal actually says access data. And this is basically saying, hey, this is the information right here that you need to access the data through your FTP program. Uh, it even provides you instructions right here, which again, a lot of these hosting sites will do for you. It even says FileZilla right here. So if we go back over here, you know, we're looking for this information. So when we go back to our FTP program, when it asks for the host, that's the IP address. That's the long string of numbers with a you know bunch of periods in the middle of it. You can basically just select, copy and paste that, put it into the host, and then you're gonna put the username, which also again, should have been provided in the web page interface. So mine is listed down here. You can change the password if you need to. Most of the times I just leave them the way they are. Let's say we've input all that into this. We've connected to our server with our host, username, password, and port. Um, and this is what we're ending up with here. There's one more step that we need to do, and we're going to go back to the Thunderstore Mod Manager and pull up our local files. Okay, so we're back at the Thunderstore Mod Manager. So if you're using R2 Mod Man instead of Thunderstore, it's the same exact interface. All of these instructions will be the exact same. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to find our local files, which is basically where your Mod Manager has installed all of these files on your computer physically. So we're going to find them because we need to put them on your server. That's physically what we're going to do. We're going to take your files locally, drag them onto your server in the same way that you would do just between folders on your computer. So we're going to find your files by clicking settings right here. And it should be the second one down. Browse profile folder. That's what you want. You want to find that profile folder. And here it is. Now, if we go back to our server, uh, it looks a little bit different than we have locally. Um, now, the reason is, is because these, this is basically the file structure for Valheim's dedicated server. We don't want to touch any of this stuff. Let me show you what you need to do. You need to copy all of these files right here. Just drag them all. 
drag them all over into this empty space. You're not going to drag them into these folders. You're not going to do anything like that. You can also do control A will select all of your files and then you can just go over and drag it over here. And when you do that, your FTP program will start copying all of these files to your server. And you can see it's copying every mod, every configuration file, every single thing. So your files are identical at this point. Everything that you have in your BepinX folder now is the same now on your server. So if we look back on your server, now we see all this extra stuff here. All we care about right now is BepinX. So we go in here, we go into plugins and plugins is where your mods are stored. Now it doesn't matter if it's in a folder, doesn't matter if it's by itself. If it's one of these files, a DLL file, it's a mod and it's gonna load when you start up Valheim. And these are your configuration files here. Uh, again, the same exact files that you have locally. Now we've copied over, dragged and dropped that group of files right here into our new server. So here's my server. Uh, I haven't even turned it on yet. Uh, there's a button right here. Each, each host will have its, same, its own interface uh, for restarting or uh, turning off your server. This one's literally just a little slidey tab. So I'm going to turn this slidey tab to on. It says your game server is starting. Hosting sites like Gportal actually include Valheim Plus, which is kind of like simple quality of life mod that changes a lot of little things, or at least gives you the option to change a lot of little things inside Valheim. So if you have a server that already has BepinX or a Valheim Plus installed on it, then your installation is going to be slightly different. Uh, but basically the same process. That would mean that if you log into your server, you probably already have a BepinX folder here with some of these subfolders already listed. So the method that I'm about to show you is the same method that you're going to use to copy over any more mods from your computer that you download with your mod manager and put them on your server. Like if you want to add extra stuff, this, this is the same procedure for adding more mods or if you already have that preloaded on your server. We're going to open up BepinX on your FTP program. Here are your five folders that we're concerned with right now. Um, the same five folders that we have over here locally. So we double click on plugins. Here are the mods that we have installed. We double click on plugins over here. Here are the mods we have installed locally. Now, if we just wanted to add more mods, we literally just be selecting the ones we want. I'm not going to drag them because they're already over here and then just drag them over. They'll copy the same way and you would do the same thing with the configuration file. So if we go into config here and we do the same thing locally, we can see they're the same obviously, but if we had new ones or we, or we changed something in one, we would then drag it over and just overwrite or just copy it normally. Once we've got all those mod files copied over from our computer, we're ready to go. All we would need to do is start our server here or wherever it says to start your server um, or restart um, either one. Once you add or update files to your server, you want to restart it. Some mods do allow you to, to change configuration files while it's running, uh, but they're very rare. So now that we've got our server running, we're going to go back to our mod manager and we're just going to click start modded. Okay, so here we are back at the splash screen. Uh, we can see we got five plugins up here and we've got Valheim Plus. It's a different loading screen. Uh, you can disable or enable that, it doesn't matter. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, try and join the server that we just set up. So you would just click start game as normal and we're gonna join game and we're gonna join IP. Uh, this is the fastest way to do it, um, in my opinion. All we need now is we need that IP and port address. So if we go back, we're gonna alt tab to your hosting interface, uh, which is probably just through a website. Now each hosting site, again, will have this information listed slightly differently in different spots. There's your password for your FTP access, which is basically the password to allow you to transfer mods or delete mods and change files on the server directly. And then there's the password to just join the server. Um, again, this is something that you can change and customize through the web interface for whatever server hosting site that you're using. Um, I'm using Gportal and it's listed right here. So this is the password I want. I don't want my other password for my FTP. I want this password to join. So now that we've got our password and our IP address here, we're gonna go ahead and just drag select and copy it. We're gonna put it right here and we're gonna push connect. And now if we just wait, it should prompt us to input a password, which it has. All right, so I've input my password, just push enter. Let's wait and see what happens. Okay, so we're connecting now and uh, we should be starting fresh in a new world. And there we go. Here we are. 
So there you go. We've successfully set up your server uh, running those three mods, the Valheim Plus mod, the Jude's Equipment mod, and the Horse mod. All are running now on your new server. Now let's run around and see if we can find a horse. All right, guys, we found a horse. So we know the mod is 100% working. So that's it, guys. Now you should know how to use your mod manager to find your local mod files, download and start using your FTP program to connect to your server, to get the username, the password, the IP address, the port, all that stuff. You should be able to find that stuff on your server now, get those mods onto your server and get you and your friends playing together with any mods you want. Um, and in our next video, we're going to go over some really simple things that you can do with some of these mods to really tailor the experience the, just the way that you want it for you and your friends. Well, that's it, guys. Happy modding, everybody. And I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.